how to use the law of attraction to manifest a specific person into your life. Welcome back to another video. I'm Max Million, I have entrepreneurs who program their mind, rewire their life for happiness, success, abundance, fulfillment, and confidence. You name it, I do it. And I'm going to show you exactly how and why you can manifest people into your life and why you possibly shouldn't if you feel like you want to right now. We attract what we are. What we constantly think and feel every single day, or 95% of the time, is what we manifest into our life. This is unconscious, this is subconscious, we don't even realise we're doing this. This just naturally happens because of our programs in our in our subconscious mind. Now if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll notice that 95% of our life is run through our subconscious mind, whereas 5% is run through our conscious mind. So our conscious thought to say, I want to manifest this specific person, is only 5% of an impact out of the 100% worth of manifesting. Let's use that. You need to get to the point where you're manifesting from the subconscious. Now, how do you do that? You go from a state of thinking about it, wanting it, and move to a place of being. You don't sit there going, this is what I want in my life. I want this specific person. I want this specific relationship. I want this specific business partner. Whatever it is. Or even a mentor, a teacher, whatever it is. You say, I want this. You're literally coming from a state of lack. When you're coming from a state of lack, you're basically saying to the universe, I don't have. And what you say, what you put out, the energy that you give out and the feelings that you give out is what manifests to you. So if you're saying, I don't have this relationship. I want it. You're manifesting that I don't have. Whereas if you move into that state of being, as soon as you move into a state of being, moving into a state of feeling, because intention combined with an elevated emotion, that of love, that of happiness, that of joy, that of fulfillment, that of purpose, combined with the intention of manifesting a specific person that's already now in my life, they will naturally start to come to you. So moving away from wanting, moving away from lacking, and moving into being. How would your life look today if they were already in your life? Again, is this a relationship? Um, let's, say, let's say it's a relationship as a partner you're trying to manifest. The little things that you can do, and I know there's loads of different techniques out there, but you can do, for example, sleeping on one side of your bed so the other side is free. When you're laying the table, laying two different places. Doing those little things. Planning the things that you're going to do in the future when they manifest into your life. Rather than just waiting for them, you're actively searching for what could do, what you could do. And people naturally are gonna be attracted to someone in a romantic relationship that is actively doing something that they're gonna like. Plus you wanna find someone who is matched to you. You may be trying to manifest a specific, you may be trying to manifest a specific person that isn't actually aligned with your core values, what you want, what you think about, um, what you truly desire in your future. You just think you want them because of one thing that you know about them, when really, so you may not know too much about them. So first of all, figure out exactly what type of person you do want, and what you can even do is you can start to create a little mind map, literally starting with the perfect person, whether this is the business partner, the perfect business partner, the perfect relationship, starting with like a mind map and writing off the things that you want from that person. You may not find exactly what you want, you may do, and it's possible, it really is possible. It's truly possible because there's so many people that are similar to you in this world. It's just finding those people. And when you're a vibration that's high enough for them to attract to it, they're gonna find you. Negativity seems to find negativity. Fear seems to find narcissist. It seems to work that way. Love seems to find love. Love never finds a narcissist because they don't want that narcissist. And this is like when, when you're in that high vibrational state, and it doesn't mean that you're wrong if you've ever gone in a relationship with a narcissist. This just means that your, um, your vibration was easily attracted to the other person because they're naturally wanting to take your energy. When you're aware of that, you start placing your energy in different places, and that just takes the ability to become aware of it. And as soon as you become aware of it, you notice that you start giving away energy, and it feels like a drain. You realize, I need to stop that. I need to start making these shifts today. And then the second step is really understanding who are you becoming in order to be with this specific person? Like I said, let's say business, for example. If you want to be in business with someone who is extremely successful, you need to get on a level that is somewhere in their radar, which they operate in. Just like if you want to be with someone in a romantic relationship, you need to be on their radar. If, for example, you are looking for someone who is extremely intelligent, who likes business, who is um, spiritual, for example. Let's, let's go, let's, this is me, for, I'll use me as an example. I need to become that type of person for, for me to even be anywhere near their radar. If I'm not that type of person, it's not going to be worth their time for them to even look in my direction. So rather than thinking, I want that person, think, how can that person want me? What do I need to become? And this needs to, you need to make sure that this is going to make you happy. This isn't just you doing this in order to um, sell your soul to someone. 
you want to be doing this because this stuff will genuinely make you happy. And again, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And then you just move into a vibrational frequency of that of love, of that of happiness, of that of joy, which naturally attracts the other person. And then when you've done all of that, what you've really got to assess is, is it worth your time being that person? Will that truly make you happy because if that won't make you happy then why are you wasting your time trying to manifest a specific person thinking that that's what you're going to want in life because look at it from this perspective if you knew that person to a core and you knew who they were truly and you like that then go for it and then what it comes down to is the action that you're taking that's sort of the final step and i will touch on that in a minute but if you just know them on a base level and you're trying to manifest them and you don't truly know who they are as a person then you may be wasting your time. I'm not saying that you are, but you may be wasting your time. And rather than that, why don't you become that type of person that attracts that person, that type of person into your life? And if they're not the right person, they're not going to come. And when you see things in, in the world, in, in your reality, as things are happening for me, not to me, you start to realise that these things are here to teach us lessons. And giving some examples of myself, I've done this many times before, and I've, I've realised that, what did I need to learn from this specific situation? I've been in situations where it's been like, I was manifesting that specific person. She came into my life and I was like, yes, brilliant. Then it just didn't work. And I was like, how can I make this work? How can I make this work? How can I make this work? I did all that I could and that didn't work. So unfortunately, I had to realize what can I take away from this? What can I learn? What did I do wrong? What, could, what can I do better next time? Who do I need to evolve into in order to attract this specific, these type of people into my life? And that's where you start to take a learning and you take the wisdom from your experience rather than saying, why me, poor me, woe is me. You start to change your whole perspective which allows these things to start shifting and manifesting into your life. And then as I said, what it comes down to is that massive action. You can try and sit there and meditate and manifest and sit in a room in a box the whole day. But realistically, if you are trying to manifest a specific type of person, let's say you like people who like have like adrenaline rush, they're like adrenaline junkies. Is it going to make sense for you to try and manifest someone who is that type of person, but wait in a shopping mall all day, shopping centre all day? That's not a logical thing to do. You're not taking the right action. If you want to find that type of person, what it would be would be creating this image, creating this picture. Maybe not on specific looks, maybe you want to do it on looks, that's down to you. Um, for me, I, I go with a, a type of person, a personality traits and, and stuff like that. Obviously, there's the, there's the generic looks that I go for, um, but that, that sort of ties into it. And then what you do is, you go to do things that that person would do. If you like adrenaline things, go and do things that that could potentially get you to meet that type of person. If you like shopping a lot, go and do things that are buy shops and things like that where you can go and find these type of people. If you like to work out, go to a different gym, find different places, and really understand that the more you move into this state of being, just in general anyway, things will manifest. Whether you're trying to manifest a specific person or you're trying to manifest a new career or you're trying to manifest some money, when you move into that state of being, things begin to manifest because you are already in that state of being rather than that state of wanting and lacking. And like I said at the start, when you're in that state of wanting and lacking, you are basically saying, I don't have. And imagine a child saying to their parent, rather than saying, Give me this, I don't have this, I need this, give me 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 this. The parent is going to be like, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> and I would be completely, I would understand why. Whereas if the child is sitting there going, oh, I'm so grateful for all these little things that I've got, it would be amazing also if I could have this. Like, you're coming at it from a completely different standpoint. And that child is literally saying, speaking it into existence, which is allowing it to manifest into their existence because they are standing from a place of gratitude. And as soon as you move into these elevated emotions that have gratitude and love, gratitude is the highest state of receivership. Just end of. Because when you receive something, someone gives you something, you say, thank you. Most people. <laughs> Most logical people. But not, or not everyone's going to say that. But when you're receiving something, you're already saying thank you. So if you're, pre if you're prior to receiving it, you're saying thank you already. It's like a waiter in a, in a, in a bar if they're, or, or in a restaurant. If a waiter's coming up to you and you're being very grateful and you're tipping them, they're going to give you a much better service, the universe, a better service, than if you're just constantly sitting there just going, yeah, right, get out of here. I just need my drink. Yeah, yeah, cool, bye. You're just expecting it and it's, it's not coming from a place of gratitude. It's not going to manifest in the best way possible for you. So if you truly want to manifest a specific person, start to use these three simple steps. Stop searching, start being. 
Step number one. Step number two is become the person that they would want to be with, be around and spend time with. And step number three, take massive action. As soon as you take massive action and you act upon these three steps, you'll notice that these people that you're trying to manifest into your life are just going to come that much quicker. It doesn't mean they're going to happen instantly because you may need to learn some lessons along the way that can happen from these encounters that are coming. And that's the way you can see it. If you can see it from that perspective, you are going to speed up your process so much and you're going to feel so much greater about yourself anyway. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have learned something from this video, please leave a comment. Any questions, more than happy to answer. Or even send me a message on Instagram. Um, we can have a free subconscious mind analysis. I can help you out, help you reprogram your mind for love, kindness, success, whatever it is that you want, confidence. So send me a message. But I hope you have an amazing day. Keep spreading love, kindness, and so much positivity.